Greetings YouTube, this is Lord Cry here, and welcome back to Undertale. Now... Okay. <laughs> I like Barbie. Here we go. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member... Of the Royal Guard! You wanna use this? Yeah! Check, Papyrus. Attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyehehe! Nyehehe! Alrighty then. Papyrus is considering his options. What? Why not? What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. W well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later, after I capture you. I mean... Really, though? Oh, now. Let's date later. I mean, bro. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Just don't move. Yep, don't move. Yay! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What? What the? You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Fuck! Oh my god! Ah, fuck! God, I have fucking... 
got fucking chicken grease on my. Hold up, longer to jump higher. Jeez. It's not that. It's the. My controls are slippery. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh god. Oh, fuck. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ah, fuck it. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti. Oh god. Oh fuck. Okay. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Undyne will be really proud of me. Who is this Undyne you're trying to impress? Oh fuck. Meh. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Eh. Eh. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Oh, fuck. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck it! Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Ah, piss! Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Someone like you is really rare. Oh my god. Oh fuck, dude. Holy shit! And dating might be kind of hard. Oh. Ah, come on! After you're captured and sent away. Oh, he was saying dating is kind of hard! After I'm captured and sent away. Ah, who cares? Give up! Oh, uh... Wait, how did I get... How did I get past the tiny gap? Hang on, I need a little moment to think about what the fuck just happened. It's like an inch fucking gap. Papyrus whispers, <laughs> Give up or face my special attack. Ah, pissing hell. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Fuck. Oh god, I'm almost out of fucking items. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Oh, really? This is your last chance before my special attack. Behold, my special attack! What? What the heck? That's my special attack! 
Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Ah, here's an absolutely normal attack. Ah, piss. <laughs> hit by that, cause why not? Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. No, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. And Dine's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What did you say? Let's be friends! Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human! Okay, let's, let's let's not get crazy with that, please. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain that if you just say... Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> the dude just makes himself float. do something. First of all, come here, you. Second. I like how the residents don't seem to care that I'm a human. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> I 
Where are you, where are you taking me? My house! My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something which was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height- <clears throat> I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Are you serious? What?! Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sands! Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. What's in here? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't, didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> oh. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Oh, at least he feeds it. Ooh, it's my favorite game show! So stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G! It's a saggy old couch. Hey! I got some more gold for this. What's this? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes! Inside the joke book. It was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics joke. There's another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics joke. Oh my god. Jesus. Fucking Sans, dude. Who was this? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes. Ooh. That is a nice carpet. I like that carpet. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Oh yeah, you... Oh yeah, I can see some blood on one of those. Oh yeah, those are the one that I actually let you hit me with. Yep. Yep. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Ah, yes, action figures! A great reference for those theoretical battle scenarios. Why do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Oh. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Nyehehe! 
Does anybody want to? You want to tell him? Want to tell? Should I tell him? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yeah, those are hung up neatly inside. That's it. Okay. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. You don't have any. Sun on my skin, you don't have any. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. That's not good for virus. You shouldn't do that. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you wanna start the date? Yes. Okay, dating, start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press your controller's Y button for dating hub. Mean this? Oh, whoa. There are several dogs on that radar. Egg? Wowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two! Step two. Ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human! I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. R really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three: put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Sure, why not? Oh, oh Jesus. Now. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power! Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! <clears throat> no! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Wait a sec. His hat's not moving. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen! Hmm... My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! Open it. <gasps> is that spaghetti? Do you know what this is? It's spaghetti! Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Of course. Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finally aged in an oaken cask. 
then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um... Boy, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't feel it anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, got to go. <laughs> God, I love Papyrus. He is the fucking best. Sandy boy. The door is locked. Sands! Uh, why can't that dude hear me? Sands! Oh, fuck it. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not... thought I was on the other side of Snowden. Alright. Midpoint. Arrived at Waterfall. This is the midpoint? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grubby's. Wanna come? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. 
Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Ruby, we'll have a double order of Berg. Why, why are you using a... Is that a comb? Why, why are you using a comb, Sans? So, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if he wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yep. Bon appetit. He took the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Hey, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyways. <laughs> He's scratching his ass. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Oh shit. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, so you know all about it. The echo flower. Eh, not exactly what I meant. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the Paras told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Oh, Jesus, no. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Alrighty then. So Fly's been talking to Papyrus too, huh? Hang on, I want to see this ice go up the river. Yeah, it goes up the river, alright. Alrighty. Oh, jeez, box! Ah! Okay. Oh! Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes uh, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did, did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, Undyne, 
you don't have to destroy them, you see. You see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, fuck. <coughs> oh, shit. Did you, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh. Ah, come on. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yep. Oh. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh, you mean like... Oh, I need to pick them up with A. Oh, come on, you stupid... Flexes in. Check. Aaron, attack 24, 24 and defense 12. This seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Oh, jeez, um, Yeah. Uh. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flexing contest. Whoa! Whoa, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Flex! Attack increase for you two. <laughs> Ow, fuck! Piss! Shit! Flex! He flexes himself out of the room. Oh, dude, fucking sweet. Mm, turn these off. Just cause. Just because I can. Oh. Hang on. Oh. That's not gonna work, is it? Wait a sec. Of course. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Yeah, you got the abandoned quiche. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. It's just a bench. Abandoned quiche. Heals 34 HP? Damn! Uh, a psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. Wow. Wait, didn't Papyrus say something about a quiche? Hmm. 
Oh, wait. I think I got the answer of how to get over there. I got it! Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Yeah, I'm wearing a bandana. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it! Wink, wink. Have a nice day! A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. You hoped with all your heart the wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua shuffles up. Uh, clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh. Ah. 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 God. Washua continues cleaning. God. Oh. Piss. Well then! I did not notice that I was near death. Okay, now I gotta do all this again. That quiche back. Wait a minute. Pyra said something about a uh, sans baking a quiche. Is that Echo Flower Sans? Saying that he wasn't ready for the responsibility yet? I feel like that quiche is a metaphor.
I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. You ask Wash where to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Okay. Look through the telescope. Oh. Check wall. Check what wall? Oh! Ancient writing is comfortable as you can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they have nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of one single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of this strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh shit! Oh god! Fucking undying! You're throwing spears at me! Ah! Stop it! Stop throwing fucking yeah! Ah! 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 Ah!